Okay, welcome back to Marvel Snap. Now today I'm going to be playing with my Silver Surfer deck, which I think is the best Silver Surfer deck I've ever made, but it could be wrong. And if I lose any game at all, I will take the opponent's deck and I will use that in my next match. Regardless of what it is, if I lose, I'm going to use it. And if I don't have it in this like list of decks, I'm just going to make it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so we should be pretty okay. Okay, shuffling in my hand on turn three is not good. I got a, an inked hand. So I'm considering just hawking because I kind of want to keep these cards in hand. So we'll see what the other two. Okay. Camp Leahy gets a green goblin. Totally fine. And Polaris. Okay, we have a stacked full of hand. We have a hand stacked. Ravona is not good. At least for me, it's not good. Shuffle five rocks in. And I got a full hand, okay. So I kind of want to like stop Ravona's effect and we can do that through Mobius. So we basically need to keep drawing cards. Snowguard is going to stop him, stop me shuffling in. Okay. And he stopped it with magic. That's frustrating because I kind of want to, because I kind of don't want to go to a turn seven. Uh, what we can do is if we draw Silver Surfer this turn, we can go Snowguard and shuffle in another five rocks. That could be a good idea. Okay, we drew a rock, of course we did. So we'll go Brood here. Juggernaut, okay, totally fine. So we'll go Brood in the middle. How do we do this? How do we do this? So Ravona reduces his cards with one or less power. So he's probably gonna play like Iron Man, Mystique, and then probably the Living Tribunal. So how do we get around that? So I think how we get around that is we just go Green Goblin. We try and reduce his power. So we've got Green Goblin on the right-hand side and then Jeff. Okay, he's playing something in the middle. If it's Sarah, we're probably in trouble here. Nebula. Okay, no, that's fine. He wasted turn five on playing a one-drop. Which Killmonger can actually get rid of as well. Okay, what we do here is we go Snow Guard and then Killmonger. No, actually, that doesn't help us. We go Snow Guard into Spider-Man. Spider-Man will pull one of these over, which means we'll win the right, we'll win the left, and we're currently winning the middle. So if he stops playing... If he stops uh, Limbo happening, we should be totally fine. Okay. Pulling Green Goblin. And I shuffle... Ooh, a Mega Red. Okay. That is something. And Mystique. Okay. So if he's above by 10, he gets... 10 power to the other locations. If you're winning here, plus 3 power to the other locations. Okay, Omega Red Omega Red got a nerf for no reason. Jeez, sorry bud. Alright, we won. Fantastic. So I think our play there was probably we just go Killmonger and then Silver Surfer. Killmonger gets rid of Nebula and then Silver Surfer like negates both of his Omega Red plays. Plus going up by 6 power in the other locations isn't as good as it was. I kind of want to lose to a Miss Marvel deck, because I feel like Miss Marvel would be pretty fun to play. And I actually don't play Miss Marvel. Okay, Mobius in my opening hand is fantastic. Uh, let's grab a Snow Guard. Hey, look at that, we have a turn 1, 2, and 3 play. That never normally happens. Cards cost 1 less. Okay, we snap here because Mobius negates his Elysium. So your cost can't be increased, your opponent's cost can't be reduced. So this card negates Elysium entirely, and then we only have the bonus, which is exactly what we want. And if he doesn't have a Mobius, he's pretty pretty much screwed. All right, so he gets one turn of reduction and Hulkbuster. Totally fine. Nice looking Wolverine, though. Very nice looking Wolverine. Okay, four, five, or six cards can't be played here. That's totally fine. Um, so we'll go Craven because we're planning to move over cards anyway. And then we'll go Brood, I think. We'll go Brood, and then we'll go Jeff, and then maybe Snow Guard, Hawk. Sabretooth, that's a cool variant. I like that. Okay, Shore is good. Let's go uh, Shore into Jeff. He hasn't... He's killed... Actually, he hasn't killed any cards yet. Okay, so he's killed two cards so far. Sabretooth still costs three, unfortunately, because it can't cost zero. Mobius says no. So I think when it returns to his hand, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, so what we do here is we go Shadow King to reset his Carnage, and then we go Hawk. That will stop Grand Central, that'll stop, like, everything from happening. I think that's the play. 
And then next turn we can move Jeff over. He also doesn't get a free card from Grand Central. Okay, Venom is fine. Hopefully Wolverine goes to the left. Come on. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. We'll reset his power. We'll stop everything from happening. And if we can draw... A... Ooh, Sarah does not help here. Okay, Sarah does not help here. So we go Jeff over there. So we're going up to 9, 10, 11 power. Then I think we just go Bear and then Killmonger. Which doesn't help us. I think we lose this. But it means we get to try out Destroy. What do you got for me? I mean, if I had Silver Surfer, if I actually drew it, I think I would have been fine. I'm assuming Null. Yeah. Okay, looks like we'll jump over to Destroy. Okay, this is the Destroy deck I've cooked up. Uh, basically, it does rely a lot on killing Deadpool, killing Wolverine. And uh, we've got, I think, three ways to do that. We've got Deathlock, Venom, and Carnage. So, let's do it. <laughs> also, my Carnage variant, I'm very, very happy with. I somehow got a gold... I somehow got a gold finish. Rainbow, Kirby, Crackle. So, I don't know how that happened, but... Uh, yeah, we'll go Forge, and then we'll just kill it with Carnage. Okay, Rickety Bridge is kind of good for us, I think. If he plays anything on it, I think we should be fine. So Carnage is 6 power, which is great. And Zabu. Zabu is not good for us. Because I, I just can't. I have no way to stop that. Okay. Um, none of these cards really help. I don't really have any targets to kill anything. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go Deathlock here. Just get the power, which is gonna not gonna matter anyway because it's gonna get transformed. Uh, it's a Hit Monkey. Okay, Hit Monkey costs three. Man, that's not a good target. Black Knight into White Queen. White Cream grabs Venom or Killmonger. That's fine. Nimrod. Nimrod is a is a card. I kind of want to save it though. If I play Nimrod here, and then I can play like. Uh, Actually, I've already used my two kill targets, so I'll play Nimrod in the middle with something else, and then Venom on the right, and I should. Nimrod turn five, Killmonger, Venom on the right. That should win it, I think. Okay, Blade, he's discarding Scar, which means he gets a really big, really, really big card. Okay, I actually... Ooh, I do not like the Ebony more. Really don't like that. Uh, I, which means I can't play Nimrod, can I? Uh, we can play Killmong here. That'll kill one, two, three, four cards. That will put death to three cost, which is probably useful. Also, if I play death into Tarnax, there is no other nine cost card. Or I think death's like eight. Yeah, death's eight. So there is no other eight cost card. So death shouldn't change into anything. I also don't even know what deck he's playing. Uh, Ebony Blade. Can't be destroyed. Power can't be reduced. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Well, I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> like that. Which means that's that's something, right? That's probably the best play. Death doesn't get transformed because, you know, there's nothing for Tarnax to transform it into. Ghost Rider pulls Scar. I don't think I beat the left. Typhoid Mary could actually help though. Oh no, there's no way. <laughs> oh man, we were so close. Okay, guess what changed into whatever this discard deck was. What on earth was this? This is a weird looking deck, so I'm just gonna add a 3-5 so we like, we sort of have a curve going on here. But uh, yeah. Alright, let's see what this looks like. <laughs> what a weird deck. Man, we lost to that. I would like to see what the, the rest of the deck actually looked like. Okay. Black Knight into Blade. Okay. Let's go Black Knight first. 
Uh, Zabu draw would be fantastic here. Oh, okay. Sakar is something. Sakar is something. We have to play Blade first. So we discard Apocalypse. We add a 12 power card, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we add 12 power. If it's not 12, it's 8, which is still really good. Then we play Ghost Rider Modok. Ghost Rider or Modok. Or Apocalypse. So any one of these targets is... So then we play Ghost Rider, Modok, or Apocalypse. So it's like, Ghost Rider is a bad target. Modok is a great target. Apocalypse is a bad target. So we have a, like a 1 in 3 chance of getting a card we actually want here. Or we could play the Ebony Blade, which is still good. Blob is actually really good for us. We snap that. He's drawing no more cards. What? Oh, until it gains 15 or more power. And it can't be moved. Okay. I thought it... Okay. I didn't know it got nerfed. I thought Blob was still like, will take everything from your deck. Which, if it did, that would have been fantastic. Okay, Jubilee here. We'll play Jubilee on the right. We'll get Dracula, which is great. I'm looking to get a Modok here, please. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider has no targets at the moment because we've only discarded Apocalypse. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of looking at getting Modok next turn. So I think what we'll do is play X-23 and then Lady Sif. So at least we have like a better target for Dracula at the end of the game. Vision is fine. I kind of want Shang-Chi or Modok here. If I draw Shang-Chi or Modok, I'm in a good spot. Scar, okay. Scar is not a good target. Actually, it could be a good target, to be honest. If I just play Scar in the middle here, I tie. And I'm pretty sure he's going to move Vision. And if I tie, Dracula discards Apocalypse because I have that YouTuber luck. So I should be fine. Here we go. Soulstone is fine. He's got five energy. What is he going to use it for? Reality Stone, okay. That's fine. Doesn't matter. And Devil Dinosaur. Ooh, okay. Which means I need to... Man, really? Look, I lost a 50-50. I lost so many things there. I was just really unlucky. If Dracula had discarded Apocalypse, I would have won. If I drew... I had a 50-50 chance of drawing a card I actually needed there. And I didn't get it. I just lost two 50-50s in a row. Alright, he was playing Thanos, which is actually like a different Thanos to what I play. So let's take a look. And we'll go... Negasonic Teenage Warhead, because it's just... It, it could be a techie card, why not? Alright, that's the deck. Blue Marvel, Devil Dinosaur, Leech, and Vision are all good targets off of Lockjaw and Jubilee. Alioth is just the best card in the game. It's, it's too good right now. Alright, let's play. Okay, I think this guy's a bot. I do kind of want a gold version. Oh, Mojo. I do kind of want a gold version of all these cards. Because I have to actually read the text to know what the heck's going on with the card. Because normally I just like rely on the colors. Get a copy of a card in your opponent's hand. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, we do want to draw a couple of cards here. So we'll go Forge into Reality Stone. Yeah, well, Reality Stone, the random card. I do want to draw a card off the Reality Stone. And next turn, we'll go Time Stone into Leech. So we'll get our Leech a turn early. Cards that cost one can't be played here. Okay. That's fine. And reality Stone. Okay. Play a card here, shuffle three rocks into your deck. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go Mojo on the left and then Time Stone because I'm pretty sure this guy's a bot and I'm pretty sure he's going to be playing Move. Playing Time Stone on turn 3 means next turn we'll have 5 energy which means we can play Leech a turn early. Which means we'll get rid of all of his effects in his hand. Oh, Vision. Actually, I might want to play Vision before that. Vision is probably better here. Then next turn we can play Jubilee. Because we kind of want him to, like, move cards over, don't we? The best players probably just play Teenage Warhead and Mojo. 
But Jubilee is actually just more fun, so we'll play Jubilee. Because <laughs> I think we're winning the left. If he moves all his cards over with um, Heimdall, I'm pretty sure Mojo will be totally fine. Yeah, we're going to be totally fine. We're going to win the left-hand side because I'm not going to move Vision. Jubilee is going to pull something out of the deck. Hopefully it's a Devil Dinosaur. Lockjaw. Okay, totally fine. Uh, what we'll do... I want to play as many cards as possible, so we'll play... Actually, what is the play here? If I play Alioth, it triggers to kill anything here. And then I... Like... Get a better card out of the deck. That's probably the best play. Please let me win this, because I really don't want to play move. <laughs> I think he's going to play Heimdall on the right or the left here. I'm not sure if he's going to play it in the middle. Yeah. Call it. Give me Devil Dinosaur. Or a Soul Stone. Sure. What does Spectrum target? Alright, what a what a finisher that was. Alright, well we actually won it. We actually won... A game, so we'll keep playing. Okay, this is obviously the downside of the deck. I don't normally... This is obviously the downside of the deck. I meant to get uh, some stones to play, so I can actually draw some cards. If I get Lockjaw here, it'll still be good. But I guess we're just playing Luke Cage. Ooh, okay. Luke Cage there. This, uh, <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Sentinel. Okay, looks like he's playing C3. Which Leech is going to be fantastic against C3 if he's playing Cerebro. Uh, so let's go Space Stone to Jeff. And I think we snap here. No, 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 wait. We'll wait one more turn. We'll wait one more turn. Because if we snap on turn 5 and play Leech, then he's going to cry. <laughs> okay, Quake is fine. That doesn't really do anything. Okay, so this turn we snap and we just play Leech like this, right? And then we move Ninja over because we're not planning on winning this, this right hand lane. Show it to me. So I don't think, oh, here we go. Oh, Leech and Leech, okay. Which means if he has Cerebro and Mystique in his hand, he's in real big trouble. <laughs> Okay, so to win this game, what do we do? Uh, that puts us to seven power here, which is probably not a good idea. How do we win this game? How do we win this game? We move Jeff over there, which means we're at seven power, which means he's definitely not going to win. And we play U2 in the middle, which means we add nine power, which means we're going to 12 power total. Does he think he's going to win? Let's just, let's just see. I kind of want to play C3 if I lose. Orca? I wasn't expecting the Orca play. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's so smart. Because I... I Okay, look, admittedly, I wasn't expecting an Orca to be pulled from the hub. The hub gave him a card and it turned out to be, like, the card he needed to win. Yeah, that was, that was a good play. I thought playing Leech to, like, suck away all his abilities would have been fantastic, but... Apparently it just made him better. Okay, this is my C3 deck. This is the deck that we're going to be using, because uh, I already have it ready, and I'm pretty sure we didn't see much of the deck that he was playing. Uh, so we'll take this. Let's go. LeBron James. Okay, Sakaar. That's not good. Don't get Cerebro. Don't get Cerebro. Cerebro, Shang-Chi, bad choices. Oh, not good, man. Not good. Look, we have priority, so we'll take the armor. So we'll just snap and go armor. Shang-Chi I kind of wanted to keep, but I guess armor does counter this Deadpool play, so we'll be fine. We do have Cerebro for the later turns as well, and I'm pretty sure a Destroy deck will not play Leech, so we should be fine. Carnage is totally fine. Alright, what's this one? Can't play a first card here each turn. Okay, that's fine. We'll go Colossus here. Turn 5 Leech is going to be real... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Victory. Yeah, sorry, man. It's real hard to get past that. <laughs> Alright, last match. Do we end up with C3 or do we come full circle and do we lose to a Silver Surfer player? <laughs> Uh-oh, Polaris. That could be a Silver Surfer player. Okay, we have 
pretty good here, pretty good, because we can play Sentinel in the middle and then Cosmo in the middle of the right. And if he is playing Silver Surfer, he'll be in danger. Okay, Nico Minoru using the destroy function. I believe he's got destroy, which is good for us. So let's go Sentinel here and then we'll go Cosmo in the middle. Let's try and get priority. Ravona Renslayer, but he destroyed it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. So we'll play Cosmo in the middle, just like normal. Um, and then we'll just go from there. Probably Sentinel Colossus next turn. Killing Ravona Renslayer, I feel like it's a snap of all action. I don't, I don't know. I'm a little confused. Normally like, okay, so you're not playing a destroy deck because why would you play Ravona? And you're not playing, I guess you are playing a Ravona deck. That's fine. So he's playing a, like a zero cost deck for Ravona. That's fine with me. Colossus Jeff here. Next turn we can probably go like Cerebro if we grab it, which would be great if we do. Wong. Okay. Opponent, snap. Opponent snapping. That's fine with me. So how, how do we get around this? Okay, so how we get around this is we need to keep priority. It depends on what he's playing, of course, but I believe if he's going to play like Black Panther Arnim Zola, that's like rough. He could play Gambit here. Gambit would just wipe my entire board. So I think what we do is we just move Jeff over, we try and keep priority. So we'll go Killmonger into Sentinel. Because if we keep priority, then we can go Shang-Chi and kill potentially a Black Panther up here. Show me Black Panther. Oh, White Tiger. Okay. That's fine. It's not fine, is it? No, it's not fine. I think we lose this one. We didn't draw... We, move, we put Cosmo in the wrong location. I think we lose this. I'm not losing eight cubes over it. Dang it. Well, we didn't lose to a Silver Surfer deck at least, but we lost to this like morph combo thing. Probably gonna play Odin next turn. So he ended on Cerebro three, which is crazy. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. No offense, but it's so much more peaceful when you're not around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, because I'm not around anymore. Oh, I won't be. The one who's like. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, close. You know what we need? We need to put a, ba a banner up for eyes. Yep, you're right, you're right. I probably.